Hi there, I am Emma Skeets. I am the author of the Menopausal Mayhem Mothers, which is a Facebook and Instagram page about all my menopausal misdemeanors. I unfortunately had to um, have my bloods taken because I had a little bit of abdominal pain um, and I, the blood test came back and I tested positive for ovarian cancer. Um, it turned out to be a, a false positive, um, but nevertheless, they decided to give me a full hysterectomy, um, or as my children like to call it, I was spayed, which was rather nice. So I was warned by my surgeon that I was going to wake up in the morning from or after my anaesthetic as a complete lunatic, basically. Um, I was going to have no hormones. My estrogen, progesterone, and my testosterone levels were going to be... Um, basically scraping along the floor. So they were going to replace just the oestrogen because I had my ovaries removed as well. Um, and so yes, I hit the menopause overnight, um, which was an interesting experience, I'm not going to lie. Um, instant anxiety. Um, alongside being put onto oestrogen, just two milligrams of estradiol, which I took orally, um, I was also put onto antidepressants because um, I felt very low, my mood swings were instant. So that was when I was 44, I think. I did feel incredibly scared and incredibly lost because I could not explain why I was feeling the way I was feeling. The anxiety was something I'd never experienced before. For somebody who had traveled around the world um, completely irresponsibly with very little money, for 11 years on her own, um, to go from that to not wanting to leave the house, to finding a trip to Tesco stressful and something I had to actually pre-prepare prepare for, um, was really confusing because as much as people told me it was to do with the menopause and the fact that my hormones were scraping along the floor or were basically non-existent, really did not help. Um, it's all very well telling somebody that their anxiety is irrational, but if it's there, it's debilitating and it's terrifying. And I felt like I had lost me and I had lost my smile. My smile had gone. And um, one of the things about my life has been that I've got through a divorce, it's quite a traumatic divorce, um, with huge amounts of laughter. And I was absolutely determined to bring my children up with the kind of upbringing I had, which was just full of jokes and laughter and fun. And suddenly I had lost that smile. I had lost the ability to laugh at things that I normally would have done. And that was terrifying. There was very little help for me out there. Um, you have eight minutes with your general practitioner and um, eight minutes is just simply not enough to try and explain how you're feeling because the reality is you don't know how you're feeling. You can't articulate how you're feeling. Um, so no, there was very little help, and as I say, um, it was um, instantly by the surgeon I was given um, this tiny amount of oestrogen, and my general practitioner, who is lovely, but had was sort of doing this and saying, hey, you know, it's time to go now, Emma, um, put me onto a drug called citalopram, but also because of the chronic insomnia that took hold of me, I was put onto a drug called Zopiclone um, to help me sleep, which they hoped would help with the anxiety. Um, so no, there was really very little help out there, and to this day, there is um, not enough information out there, despite people making documentaries, etc. Um, but the reality is that, there, as I have discovered, there is help out there, and it's out there in a natural form, um, and it has quite simply changed my life, and I just want to shout about it to the world, absolutely, completely, and utterly about Lima. It is game-changing and life-changing. And it's brought my smile back. I, I have never felt more of myself um, than I do right now. But yes, yeah, so I, I, I was an incredibly adventurous spirit. I didn't worry about anything. And then I um, hit the menopause and um, suddenly this extraordinary anxiety came in. And, um, and then I started to take Lima and I have never felt more myself. I would not be here right now um, if it weren't for this product. Um, the anxiety would just have been too overwhelming. 
And so, yes, I have never felt more myself. Um, and it's got nothing to do with feeling particularly younger or I, I just feel more like me, the old me, the me that I wanted back, um, that you lose in so many ways through having children, um, through getting married, through going through a divorce, through trauma, through um, worry um, of being a mum. Um, and this is just, um, I think, mainly due to the fact that I sleep now. Um, and it's not the normal kind of sleep that you'd get as a 53-year-old woman. It's the kind of sleep you get when you're 12. You actually wake up feeling refreshed. It's fantastic. Yeah, so having um, gone to my GP, um, obviously they are not trained in anything that is sort of supplementary other than anything pharmaceutical. Um, but what is striking is how many women out there are suffering and how many women out there simply cannot take HRT. They cannot take, even though some of the, um, or most of the HRT is now bio-identical, they, they can't take it because they are high risk for either breast cancer or various other kinds of cancer. So having tried things like, that are sort of out there in social media, evening primrose oil, um, a little bit of turmeric, um, having tried all those things and spent loads and loads of money um, because I've been recommended them sort of via word of mouth, um, none of them work. The reality is, is that the, the doses that you're given in these little bottles of stuff is just simply don't work, um, which is so demoralizing because you then have to go back to your GP and they say that your problem is still the same, which is whatever they diagnosed you with in the first place, but they most certainly would never direct you towards something like Lima, which makes an enormous amount of difference. Really, they are missing a trick because this is life-changing. Um, and I honestly do not know how I would have coped on a day-to-day -day basis with my life without taking Lima um, and all the amazing effects it's had on my anxious state, my sleep, my depression. It's simply brought me back. I cannot tell you how amazing my future feels all of a sudden. I am now so excited about my new life, which is um, not my children leaving or anything, but starting a new career, starting something that I never believed possible, which is this movement towards just general well-being and happiness and actually finding fun again. When was the last time that most menopausal women said that they were happy and they were going to have fun and they had dreams? Now, I had dreams when I was younger and I did not dream when I first went into the menopause that I was going to end up in that in incredibly dark place. I'm not in that dark place anymore. And so what am I looking forward to? I'm looking forward to traveling again. I am looking forward to actually being able to leave my home without getting a nosebleed, without having multiple panic attacks. And I'm looking forward to traveling the world with my husband and living my life, feeling amazing and not being frightened anymore. And pursuing a career perhaps in something that I never dreamed of, maybe writing a book. Yeah, well, I think what makes me really, really angry is when I get messages and comments on my, um, both my Facebook and my Instagram pages that women are literally desperate. Um, they are in despair because they are, there's no guidance out there. There are supplements all over the place on, in, in the high street, um, in high street chemists. They are totally ineffective. And these women are wasting hundreds of pounds on products that are not working for them. They will never work for them. They are um, completely ineffective. And there's no legislation. There's no legislation out there that says that you can make a claim to say that, say, for example, I'm just using one or two evening primrose oil, magnesium will, will take away hot flushes. They don't. Well, they certainly haven't for me and for most of the people I have spoken to. Um, and so it's, to me, it's just criminal that something like Lima, which is proven to work, I'm a walking, living proof of that, um, isn't out there. 
and isn't publicized enough and actually isn't available to more women because we are a huge area of the work environment. There is such a lot of talk at the moment about women in the workplace struggling with the menopause. Um, they don't need to. That's the reality. They don't need to. Stop all this ridiculousness of taking cheap and meaningless supplements and be the best form of yourself. And you don't need to then worry about the menopause within the workplace because you won't have any symptoms of it. So in terms of what I have gained from taking Lima, I've been taking it now for eight weeks, I get an amazing night's sleep. This is a woman who has had insomnia for the last eight years. An amazing night's sleep, no hot flushes, all my aches and pains gone. My anxiety has left the building. My depression has gone. I no longer take antidepressants. All for the price of a cup of coffee and a muffin. It's a complete no-brainer. And I cannot thank Lima enough for giving me this. And trust me, as a menopausal mayhem mother, I keep it real. I was a skeptic. I'm not anymore. My three top tips for any woman that's trying to get through the menopause. First of all, take Lima. Um, there's your no-brainer. Second of all, try and laugh. Try and find something funny about yourself, about what you're going through. There are funny things, I assure you. And remember, you're not alone. So talk to people. There is no stigma about the menopause. Now, if I could wear a shirt that said, menopausal and proud, I would. And third of all, in terms of your physical and mental well-being, um, on top of taking Lima, is get some fresh air. You will find when you take Lima, you get much braver. So get out there, walk a little bit, be brave, dare yourself to do things that you didn't think you could do.